Thank you. Local parents speaking out after a situation at a park they say left them disturbed. Two women say a man on the sex offender registry was at the park taking photos of children. 7 News is Ayla Ferron standing by live in Traveler's Rest. Ayla, a lot of people wondering how exactly could this happen? Well, it's really the question on everyone's minds tonight, especially those two women who were here at this park last weekend. They say they noticed the man sitting in his car watching their children very closely. And when they found out who he was, they called police. I was parked at the back. Jennifer Waldrop says she was recently at Poinsett Park with her daughter and granddaughter when she noticed something strange. When I came in, there was a car sitting there with a male inside alone and I just kind of made myself aware of that. She quickly became uncomfortable. He was trying to photograph or video my granddaughter. She's six. And she wasn't the only one. I look around the surroundings for my kids and I haven't noticed he was by himself. Paula Babola was at the park too and says she noticed the same things. My daughter would skate by him and he would just watch her and shake his head yes every time he passed. Waldrop says she matched the man to a person on the sex offender registry. So I called the police thinking that he is not supposed to be in an area that is designed for children. Babola did the same, but when the police came, the cops told us there was nothing we could do. As long as he didn't get out of the car, he couldn't do nothing. Waldrop raised the issue at a community meeting this past weekend. I just don't see the purpose for them being in a place where children gather. I just don't see it. County Councilman Joe Dill was at that meeting and says he was surprised that someone on the registry could be so close to a playground. He urges anyone who feels the same to take action. If they find that, uh, that the laws are not stringent enough, they need to talk to their people in the, in the General Assembly, their senators, and their house members about changing the laws. And that's exactly why Babola and Waldrop are speaking out. Knowing he was not even a car length away from me, watching my daughter just really upset me. Ask for a zone of protection against offenders, predators particularly, for the safety of our children. Now, the state sex offender conditions say that someone on the registry can't be within a thousand feet of a playground like the one at this park. I did speak to a local attorney who tells me the only way that those conditions could change would be if someone were to be removed completely from that list. We're still waiting to get answers from state agencies on this. I'm reporting live in Traveler's Rest, Ayla Ferrone, 7 News.